it's here. <laughs> hey guys, um, today I'm gonna be unboxing um, a very special mask. It is the main mask from John Carpenter's uh, movie Halloween, uh, made in 1978. Uh, it's probably uh, one of the most iconic horror movies um, of all time, if not our time. Um, and this particular mask is called a Nag 75K Castle Edition. Um, a lot of people would argue that this is probably one of the most accurate masks that one could own. Um, a lot of people would actually argue that it's the Night Owl Creep. Um, but what comes up in discussion most of the time would be between a Nag mask and a, uh, a Night Owl Creep. Uh, that being said, um, Nag does make a number of different molds and masks. Some of them are more stretched out to kind of give that like uh, Nick Castle um, effect, like Nick Castle himself was wearing it. He's who was the original Michael Myers who played him for like 90% of the movie. Um, and some of them don't have as much of a stretch. From what I understand, the 75K Castle Edition um, has a very subtle stretch to it. Most uh, fans already know this, but obviously the mask, its origins come from Tommy Lee Wallace, who was part of the production of Halloween. Um, and from what I understand, um, there were four different masks that they were uh, looking to use for the uh, adult Michael Myers. Um, but what they ended up going with was a mask that Tommy Lee Wallace altered. Um, I guess they found a uh, Captain Kirk mask from Star Trek at some magic shop um, and they actually altered it. Um, you know, they took off the sideburns, they, sp they spray painted it white, they took out the eyebrows. Um, and that's how you ended up with the Michael Myers mask. Um, and that's what that's what this is supposed to replicate. And again, this sh this is considered one of the most accurate, uh, at least molds, that um, you could own in a collection uh, for Michael Myers masks. As far as the the original movie goes, from 1978. Um, I do also want to mention that this was actually a gift that my girlfriend got me. Um, she knows how much of a horror fan that I am. Um, and how much I love Halloween, Michael Myers, all that stuff. So she got me this present and I would argue it's probably one of the best presents that I've ever gotten in my life. So I am super excited to open this. Uh, I think she ordered it for me back in uh, September, like late September. Um, so here we are about six, seven months later um, and it finally just came in the mail. So I'm super excited to open this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and let's get this started. Okay, so the box is open and we are gonna open this up and we are gonna see what's inside. Oh my God, I'm getting like chills already. I'm scared. Okay, so everything comes in a, like a plastic bag. I'm gonna put that there for one second. Here's the inside of the box. Um, I will say when we ordered the mask, um, I, th I think his name's Nick. He's the owner of Nag, um, Nag Sculptures. That's the guy that makes all these masks and things, sculptures, he makes all kinds of stuff. Um, he did ask us what kind of finish I wanted on the mask and ultimately um, what I ended up telling him was I wanted his best slash favorite interpretation of that classic phone scene from the original movie where you know you see Michael Myers basically for the first time wearing his mask in full lighting and he puts up the phone up to his, uh, his face to listen but so here we go here it is in the bag. It's got the number 95 on it. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. That is absolutely insane. I guess I should show you guys. 
So here it is, straight out of the box, a stock NAG 75K Castle Edition. I'm absolutely in awe by this thing. Holy freaking moly. This thing is fantastic. And there is a tag here. Sculpture Studio. Yep, Nikos Dresios from Nag Masks. I highly recommend this. I'm not going to lie, guys. This is probably... I do own a Night Owl Creep. And this is probably now by far one of my, the favorite ma my favorite mask that I have in my collection. And that is just absolutely, that is mean looking. Holy crap. Wow. <laughs> yeah, as a huge like horror fan and Michael Myers fan, this is like my end all be all like collector's items of anything. So I'll definitely be putting this up on display with my other masks. You can see my creep back there, but <laughs> wow. Yeah, you got, uh, what's his name again? His name's uh, Nikos, Nikos Dresios. You did a, an amazing job on this. Um, thank you so much. Um, and that being said, I think I'm going to end the video with some uh, more closer up shots. And uh, we'll even do a full costume, some full costume shots to give you guys an idea of what the whole thing looks like. But... That's it guys, enjoy the rest of the video and I will see you later.